Ladies and gentlemen, today is a brand new year. We want to start the year right. That is why we are having this kickoff training for all of you. I know you've been learning a lot from Nico, Arnel, and Jurgen. Now it's my turn to share with you something that will jumpstart the year for you. We are so blessed because one of the fortunate companies in the industry that survived, thrived, and withstood the challenges last year. We had so many positive, successful results amidst the pandemic. A lot of our distributors shined. Many were able to grow their networks and make every successful outcome just by doing the business online. And that is so inspiring! That is why the goal for this year is to increase that number. We want more results, more success. 2020 highlighted the significant rise of new leaders, especially online leaders that showed great potential in the online platform. On the other hand, 2020 was rough and full of uncertainty. The world has changed. The challenges that we face in terms of complexity are different now. And the greater the change, the difficult the challenges. That is why 2021 is a personal year. To adapt and be effective at what we do is just an entry to the playing field. We have to try, innovate, excel, and lead in this new real reality that we are. And to do that, we need to do more. We need to push more. We need to go beyond our limits and break the barriers. This 2021, we will go beyond our limits and break the barriers. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we all want to become successful. The question is, do you really want to succeed? Do you really want to make your dreams come true? If your answer is yes, type it down. Say, I am successful. We all want to be the best that we can be, but sometimes it's just so difficult. It's just too complicated. It takes too much time to get where we want to be and reach our goals. Most of you are still struggling to succeed even after all these years. And now, just why? Because even as the year changes, even if a new year emerges, we are still stuck in our old routines, bad habits, cycles that we just keep going around and around in. And so this year, we break that pattern. We shift and replace them with not just new, but life-changing, lasting, and empowering patterns that will guarantee your surefire success in this business. But before anything else, I want to share with you the formula of failure. A lot of people are asking, what is the formula to success? But they forgot that there's also a formula for failure. Formula for failure number one, be lazy. Well, we all know that, right? Number two, surround yourself with people who are equally lazy like you. Number three, eat a lot of sweets, bad carbohydrates, and fatty foods. You don't have to look at different people, at other people. Just look down there. Number four, don't create goals. Be aimless. Huh? Number five, never or don't exercise. And finally, number six, always dwell in your past mistakes. There are so many old, harmful, and undesirable patterns that we are constantly in a cycle every day, especially the ones we struggle with. There are too many to mention. That's why I pick the top three destructive patterns that comprises all the others. Pattern number one, procrastination. As defined in the dictionary, procrastination means to put off intentionally and habitually. Procrastination is the act of unnecessarily postponing decisions or actions. Procrastination is often detrimental 
to people's ability to successfully pursue their goals. We postpone things unnecessarily, even when we know we should be doing them, which is why procrastination often leads to a gap between how we intend to act and how we act in reality. A survey found in 2015 found that on average, a person loses over 55 days per year procrastinating, wasting around 218 minutes every day doing unimportant things. Here's the math. 218 minutes per day multiplied by 365 days per year is equivalent to 79,570 minutes. That's equivalent to 55 days. Now, that's a lot of time wasted. The reason we procrastinate varies from one person to another. And it's not always obvious. Sometimes, it is hidden fear that we don't want to acknowledge. Or it could be as simple as not wanting to do something because it just doesn't motivate us. It's about time we realize how simple as putting things off that we are supposed to do can delay and worse, waste away an opportunity for us. That is why this year, the best time, the right time to stop procrastinating and start being proactive. The word active means doing something. The prefix pro means before. So if you are proactive, you prepare for something before it happens. And so your action dictates how things happen. The heart of this shift or change from procrastinating to becoming proactive is to take the initiative so you increase your likelihood of success. To be proactive is a mix of hustle and problem solving. As Stephen Covey quoted in one of his book, look at the word responsibility. Response ability. The ability to choose your response. Highly proactive people recognize that responsibility. They do not blame circumstances, conditions, or conditioning for their behavior. Their behavior is a product of their own conscious choice based on values rather than product of their conditions based on feelings. Being proactive simply means that you take responsibility for your life and actions rather than just watching how things happen. To be proactive means anticipating problems, finding new solutions, and of course, doing your best. Now, what is a proactive mindset? Well, as it's true that you cannot always control your environment, however, what you always control is your preparation and your response. Again, from Stephen Covey, your behavior is a function of your decisions, not your conditions. Now, here are the three key main points to be proactive. Number one, be accountable. Take ownership. Your level of accountability for completing tasks is very important, as important as clearly defining a goal that is quantifiable or measurable. So you can find out if you can actually reach it or not, if you can actually do it or not. Let me give you an example. A goal as simple as to get in shape does not make sense. What does that mean when you are in shape? On the other hand, a goal which is to run a mile in under 10 minutes is something you can physically measure and attain. Point is, no one else is going to get where you want to go. It's up to you. Your family, your friends, your group, your mentors are a support system. But that is all they are supposed to be for you. They cannot succeed for you. Only you can do that. Take ownership of your problems, your struggles, your challenges, and realize that nobody else is going to solve them for you. It's in the same way that you are the only key to your success. Number two. Find the right people. This one is especially true in our business. Surrounding yourself with driven, effective people is a proven way to help you succeed. Proximity can be an excellent motivator. You get to choose between driven people or people who will drag you down. You cannot have both and expect to succeed. 
You cannot spend time with lazy people all day and also achieve your goals. Be with people who lift you up. Share dreams, understand your goals, and want to succeed just like you, and you will definitely be successful. Number three, be solution focused. Be consistent. We are all going to run into problems, and that is true. It is how you handle them that makes you effective. The most effective way in handling a problem is to focus on finding a solution. To focus on things that you're out of, of your control is a waste of time. On what you can control with the final outcome. Your coaches, your downlines, and your team will also learn to approach problems and solutions effectively if you lead by example. You see, success is about getting everything right. It is about being consistent and persistent. Be consistent at what you do, no matter how small it is. No matter how small the steps may seem right now. Doing the right things day in and day out will move you further down the path to success. Pattern number two, the comfort zone trap. This, this is very important. A comfort zone is a beautiful place, but nothing grows there. We all know what our comfort zone is, and we, have, we all have one. Now, problem with living in your comfort zone and being trapped in it is that it means you'll continue to do the same things that you do now with the same outcome. You have to realize that living in your comfort zone will never give you the chance to grow and be more than you are now. That means you will always be stuck, never moving forward, never growing. People who are stuck in their comfort zones do not reach their goals because they do things the same thing if it's not producing any result. For successful people, they know that the comfort zone is a very dangerous place. And the one thing that successful people do to break the barrier of being trapped in our comfort zone is finding the courage to face and embrace challenges. Let's talk about embracing this challenge. Changing your behavior is hard and takes ongoing work. The longer you are stuck in your comfort zone, the harder it is to come out. You have to realize, you have to understand that this is the only way. To break free is the only way for you to grow and succeed. You have to embrace the challenge. Now, let me give you three tips on how to embrace challenges. First, See the challenge as, an, as a confidence-building opportunity. Your confidence is strengthened by overcoming challenges you have faced along the way. B, remember that challenges build capabilities. You have and will get better at things after you have faced the obstacles along the way. You will have new strength and skills you did not possess before. Next, challenges build bench strength. Not only do you grow from difficult or stretching scenarios, but when you overcome them, you get stronger. That is why don't allow where you are today to stop you from, a beca from becoming a better person tomorrow. Now is the best time to get out of your comfort zone and embrace the challenge. Lastly, and probably the most extractive of all patterns that we have is pessimism. Now, let's talk about pessimism. Pessimism is a negative mental attitude in which an undesirable outcome is anticipated from a given situation. Pessimists tend to focus on the negatives of life in general. Over the years, I have done a lot of trainings that I can even remember. But what always sticks to me, what has always been a living lesson to me, is just how powerful our thoughts are. We are what we think. We become what and who we think we are. It's the exact same thing with negative thinking. Negative thoughts, negative emotions, and outlook. Our actions are product of our thoughts and the way we see things. The power of our thinking is the greatest advantage that we have that can either make or break us in this business. Being a pessimist can be very damaging to your overall personality, ambitions, and goals in life. 
Did you know that pessimism works possibly to pull you down in all aspects of life? Pessimism demotivates you. It stops you from enjoying life. It also harms relationships. And most of all, it is the one big thing that comes between you and success. It's all about our mindset. Everything begins and ends with the mind. The key to breaking this pattern, this pattern of negativity, negativity is optimism. Optimism, this is what I call the basic yet most powerful attribute that you can have that brings you always one step closer to success. People who are optimistic are more likely to work hard to achieve their goals. Being optimistic doesn't necessarily mean that you are shiny and happy at all moments of the day. It just means that you have an ability to look at a situation and while it may be tough, you are able to see around that corner and see the possibility versus the difficulty. Being optimistic is deeper than just positive thinking. Optimism is defined as judgment that you can do certain things in the future. Optimistic people are more likely to invest, act, and put effort to achieve whatever it is that they want to get done. High optimism will predict high effort and success. Optimism brings about a life of gratitude and happiness. They make the happiest and the most successful leaders. As Winston Churchill said, a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. We are now on the start of a brand new year, a new beginning, one that proves to be bright and promising. Every moment spent, stuck in the same old pattern is a moment wasted forever. Now is the best time. Now is the right time to shift those patterns, be proactive, embrace the challenges, and live with optimism. Finally, I want you to be prepared. Prepare for all the challenges because life is like a game of chess. You have to be prepared in every move that you make. I'm going to tell you a story, a story about this 300-pound man. Big, huh? One day, he was walking inside the mall. And he saw a sign that says, 100% guarantee, weight loss program, or your money back. And so he thought, wow, I've been doing a lot of things. I've been enrolling to a lot of exercise regimen. I've been taking a lot of pills, but to no avail. But this is far different. Why? Because 100% money back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, he went there and talked to the front desk. And he said, I want to enroll. I want to know if this really works. But are you sure that it's 100% guarantee? And the sales agent said, sir, it is true. 100% guarantee or your money back. So, okay, all right, I will enroll. So he paid, and the guy said, Sir, uh, after signing the contracts, he said, Sir, tomorrow at 6 a.m., our representative will go there, all right, in your house. And he said, Yeah, yeah, I know that already. So remember, after a week, 100% guarantee, 10 pounds, you will lose 10 pounds. All right, all right, I know that. I've been doing a lot already. The following day, at exactly 6 a.m., he was still asleep. He was still sleeping. And then, ding, ding, the door, the bell rings. And he woke up. Oh, this time again. And he opened the door. Voila! A beautiful, sexy girl wearing bra, panty, and rubber shoes only. And a placard that states, if you catch me, I'm yours. And the guy said, is that true? And the girl said, yes. And you know what happened? He runs toward the, the girl. For one week, he did not stop. 
His goal is to catch the girl. After one week, he looked at his weight. He lost 10 pounds. He said, it's effective. And so he said, I want to go back and enroll again. Maybe this time, something is higher. So he said, I want to enroll again. Do you have something that is more effective? Something that is more, you know what I'm trying to say. And so the sales agent said, yes, sir, we have. Um, but this is more expensive. I don't care. You will lose 20 pounds this time, sir, for one week. Sure, sure, sure. I will enroll. Make sure it's all out. Okay, all out. Yeah, sir, all out. Okay. So he enrolled, he paid, and went home. He was excited. The following day, 6 a.m., before 6 a.m., he was already at the door waiting. Come on, come on. Ding, ding. He opened the door. Voila! A beautiful, sexy girl wearing panty and rubber shoes only. Nothing on top. And a placard that says, if you catch me, I'm all yours. And the guy said, <laughs> is that true? And the girl said, yes. <laughs> and so he ran towards the girl for one week, but he was not able to catch the girl. But after one week, he looked at his weight, he lost 20 pounds. And he said, effective! And so he went back to the mall and asked the agent, do you have something that is all out? Everything all out. And the sales agent said, Sir, yes, we have that. You will lose 50 pounds. <gasps> 50 pounds? I want that. I want that. This is all out, sir. Yes, I will enroll. Sir, this is a bit expensive. I don't care. And the guy said, the agent said, Sir, be prepared. Why? Why do I have to be prepared? Because this is something different. I don't care. I want to enroll. Make sure it's all out. Yes, sir, it's all out. So he paid, and before he left, the agent said, Sir, excuse me, you have to sign this disclaimer. What's that for? Well, it's for your own protection. I don't care. I will sign. I will sign. So he signed. The following day, before 6 a.m., he was already at the door. Ah, ah, 6 a.m., before the bell rocks, he opened the door. Voila! All out. Wearing nothing, a huge masculine guy, and it's standing, the muscles, and a placard that says, if I catch you, you're mine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared for 2021. This will be our year, a year of abundance. You are the only one that stands in between you and the barriers that stop you from having the best that life has to offer. So I say, let's break the barriers. Let's go so far beyond our limits and make 2021 our best year ever. Happy New Year!